While Snapchat's poorly thought out Bob Marley filter had users putting on digital blackface, you may have missed Harvard's robot for kids, the snake an oil company wants to unleash on your night terrors, and how ocean currents might save us all, hopefully. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where going into the water around San Francisco has been a no-go ever since a great white was filmed eating a seal here. That would not end well for me. I can barely swim. You know that whole climate change is killing off entire ocean ecosystems thing? Changes in the water are threatening the life of our ocean. The oceans are becoming more acidic. This process called coral bleaching means the coral will starve and could eventually die. Turns out Mother Earth may save our asses. Please, baby Jesus. Princeton researchers found that ocean currents can move objects to nearly anywhere on the planet within 10 years, which is much faster than we'd originally thought. This model shows it happening, but you know what would really bring this message home? The puppies of the ocean. She uses the step as a playpen to keep the pups safe while she hunts. Do you know they wrap their babies in seaweed so they can keep hold of them? Keep it going. Oh, sorry. So the idea is that warming ecosystems whose plankton have died off may get replenished by all of this ocean current sharing, though the same holds true for all the bad stuff like radioactive particles and plastic bags and crap. But maybe more people would recycle if the Pacific garbage patch rolled into their city. Live to dream. If you weren't already scared of snakes after watching Anaconda, we're here to ruin them for you. A bunch of engineers from Norway teamed up with an oil company to build a mechanical snake for basic repair jobs and inspections on the sea floor. Named the Eolum robot, it's self-propelled and can get around by swimming or using its little thrusters. The idea is that they could replace expensive vessels for simple tasks and are small enough to fit into places humans cannot, like nightmares. <laughs> In case all the little people in your life are not yet prepared to become the next Einstein, you can get on that now. Root is a robot built at Harvard to help get kids into programming as early as kindergarten. The app is not unlike Lego's latest WeDo software, but Root is a bit more interesting since there are different levels of programming interface from simple graphic blocks to advanced text editing, so that even high school students can use the same little bot to get their nerd on. It can also drive on metal, detect 32 colors, lights, and sounds. And finally, some MIT students learned how to code by making these open source rubber duck cars that can detect color of lights and navigate even four-way stops with ease. So kudos to our bath time friends for making us lazy humans feel inferior.